Okay, welcome back to Dad Skills. Um, and I'm excited about this one because as you've seen from the thumbnail, we are going to make a lamp from a bottle. Um, and in this case, we're going to use a gin bottle. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I've got um, and then we'll have a look at how we're going to do it. Dad Skills, Dad Skills, Dad Skills, Dad Skills. So we've got two possibles. Um, and I've bought these off eBay, um, each for a couple of quid each. This one, I quite like this one, but for this exercise, I'm not sure it's the one we're gonna go with. I think we're gonna go with this one. This is quite a pretty thing, isn't it? Gin makers and alcohol makers have started putting a lot of effort into uh, designing of their bottles. Um, and so these things now have a resale value on eBay. And like I say, I bought these for a couple of quid each. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a shame about the stopper. We're going to get rid of the stopper because that's where our light is going to come out of. Whew. I'll give that a wash out, I think. Um, and then also, I've seen on this bottle, hope you can see that, it looks like this indentation here, which must be for drainage or air or so it doesn't, if there's water on the table, it doesn't sort of suction it. Uh, now we could, we'll have a look at the wiring that I've got in a moment. We could run our wire in there and up through the middle, but I'm not going to do that because if you imagine your lamp is there and it gets pulled from down here, the cable gets yanked it's going to tip over. Whereas if we've got the cable coming in through the side here, hopefully it will just get pulled along the table. So that's cool, that's our bottle. Um, and now let's have a look at the wiring. Right, okay, this is the wiring. I bought this off Amazon. After putting some thought into this and looking at the prices of things, this was 17 quid. Um, and you know what? I think it's good value at that. Because if you had to put this kit together, I think it'd cost you more than that. And that, that is especially important because that that is the bit that goes in there and holds it in that... Uh, top of that neck. So we've got the bayonet fitting uh, and then we've got the actual ready wired flex. That's brilliant. That's, that's wired and ready to go. We've got an inline switch which is brilliant and then we've got the end. So there are only going to be a couple of a couple of tricky parts to this but they're not tricky if you, you know if you're confident in what you're doing. So the first so one of the most important things is going to be wiring that in there. We need to do that. It's imperative we do that safely. Um, and the other thing is we're going to have to put a hole in the back of this. Um, and it comes with, I think I've seen it. Bear with me. And it comes with that. That's perfect. That's a little seal for this, a little grommet, should I say, for this cable to travel through so that the cut glass, when we put our hole in the glass, won't cut this. Excellent, okay. So I'm gonna move all this to one side. And we've got a set of instructions as well, but that is excellent. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see how big a hole we need for our little grommet here to go through now. Is there anything? Yeah, it says a 10 mil hole in the bottle. Right, let's make a 10 mil hole in the bottle. A few different ways we could have done this. I'm gonna do it on the table so you can see it. Um, and it's, it's nice and steady there. Um, I could have put it on the floor and put it between my feet, which is probably what I would do normally. But for this exercise, we're going to do it here. Now it said 10 mil. 
and I am going to use a tile or oh, we got eight. That's disappointing. Isn't it? So I'm going to use a tile and glass cutting bit, uh, and normally I would put something over there to stop the drills slipping off, but I don't think I need to with this because it's pretty, it's pretty sharp. So this is the this is the first tricky bit. So if if you're unsure about this, then I would get someone to help you. We're gonna try. Then we're gonna try the pilot method first because that isn't happening, is it? Let's try the pilot first. So I'm trying the pilot method. Um, now I would say at this point is you've got to be really careful that when it goes through, you don't go straight through and either smash the bottle with this or smash the other side with that. So that is something to be aware of. Right? Okay, right, I'm gonna go and wash that now. See what we got. Right, okay, job done. So we've got our hole there, so that's the first, the first tricky bit done. It looks all right, actually. So we might just slip in there. Thick old glass down the bottom there. Right, okay, so we've got to a point now where that will fit in there, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to push it in there and leave it in there at the moment because I think we'll have to get this in there first. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So I'm going to put this over here. And then we're going to feed this in and hopefully we're going to get it to go up and out of the neck. So that's that, that's cool. So now what we've got, we've got this little thing here, and this stops the cord inside being pulled out and out of this fitting, another little safety feature, which is pretty good with this kit. So I'm gonna to go to there. I think that gives us enough flex on the wiring to push back down and do it there. So that's that. So, I'm going to mark that. Mark it. There, somewhere. I think I can just about to see that, but I'm going to pull all this through. So, now I'm going to put this in. Feeding it from both ends. There we go. So that won't come out now, so that's good. So we can't pull our flex out of this, which is excellent. Right, so next thing we need to do. So this little bung here is gonna have, it's gonna be that. Stick that over it. Put that on and wire it up. So. So I need to tighten this bung up so it starts to grip inside that bottleneck. Let's see what we need to go to. Started pulling it in a bit. No, still too loose. Okay, let's keep going then. Okay. 
Okay. Just do one more, I think. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That, even at that stage, isn't coming out. Now let's see if I can just nick it up again. So I'm gonna push this in. I don't wanna push or prod with anything, you know, and, and slip and do it. So I'm gonna tighten this up like so. Can you see it's not gripping the flex? And then I'm gonna use it like that as a flat object to push down on it. So I'll do that now. Just tighten that up. A touch. Touch one. That's gone in now, that's excellent, isn't it? That's gone in. Yeah, really nice, okay. So we'll get rid of this again. Right, okay, so now we're at, now we're at the business end. It's looking really good, actually. It's been very straightforward so far. So, now we're at the business bit. Um, and so hopefully, what I'm hoping is, because this kit came ready to go, I'm hoping we don't need to cut these or do anything with them at all, apart from getting them in the right slots. Um, and so that's just another thing that's made it slightly easier for us. If you had your own, made your own kit, some people may not be comfortable with doing that. Most of you know by now that I'm a, an electrician myself. Um, and it's quite a tricky one, really. I don't particularly want people doing their own electrics because I've seen how how bad some people's uh, tries are at doing their own electrics. But all the kit is out there for people to do their own electrics. Um, so I'd rather you know how to do something like this safely. Right, okay, so I've just taken the actual bayonet fitting apart and now we've put our posh little silver gap over there uh, and now I'm going to just screw on the bottom of the, the actual fitting. And there we are. And I've just turned it around so that this little earth connection is at the back so you won't see it. Okay so now we're going to attach what is possibly the most important wire on this and that's the earth. Uh, why do we need the earth? Uh, well because we've got a a metal fitting up here. If that became live, the only way that would escape live fault current would be escaping back through you to earth. So, so we've got a nice little earth terminal on the back there. And by the looks of it, we don't need to cut these at all, which is brilliant. So this is something you can, you can do at home if you're confident enough. Right, in you go. Cheeky monkey. Right, okay. See that? Earth is attached. So now we come to live and neutral. And which way do we put these round onto these terminals? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So we'll just open these terminals up. You can see that. on first and then I'll show you where it goes to and right. so if you can see that there the wire's gone up inside hasn't protruded over this bit and you can't see any any live conductor on the back there right so I'll connect the live up right okay well we're wired in we are totally wired in with this brilliant kit. Um, so now the next thing we need to do is put this on and you will see it has indentations to show you where to go. 
and there's indentations there. Look. So we'll pop that on the top. And then we need to push our cable down a touch in there. And that then will sit over there like that, which is pretty cool. Well, there we are. Look at that, I'm dead happy with that. Now, something that I've just noticed, <laughs> after looking at it, I do like the chrome, but I just wonder where the brass would have gone better with this, but that's by the by, I think. So, now you can put whatever you want on there. I've got nothing at the moment to go on there, so I'm gonna put this shrink back on, tighten it up. Uh, and then I'm gonna go and find a bulb and try it out. Uh, should I say a lamp and try it out? There you go, electricians will be on the phone. Right, okay, the big moment. As you can see, I've gone for a vintage style lamp that matches the shape of the bottle. I'm almost tempted to put like a sort of metal cage around it for added industrial kind of look. So the big moment then, let's turn it on. Get in. I'm happy with that. That is awesome. So if you've made it this far um, and you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Leave a like uh, and I'll see you again really soon.